So what I see a lot of people do is that right away, they're using their reins and their legs and they're micromanaging. Put your hand down. Give the horse a chance to be right before you start correcting things. And that's what'll start to lead to a really nice side pass. As today, I'm gonna to talk to you about sideways. So um, I've been actually working on my horse, uh, preparing her to teach her flying lead changes. And so side passing and sideways uh, yielding off your leg is a really important prerequisite for asking your horse for flying lead changes. So I'm gonna show you a quick sequence of how I would start introducing a horse to the sideways yield and then where, where I would head it towards before um, asking your horse for something like a lead change. So to start it off, what I do is I like to walk my horse in a circle, like so. And I just kind of ask him to bend on that inside rein. It doesn't matter if you're in a bridle, a snaffle, bosal, whatever, because the, the point is dealing off this leg. So I'm going to apply a little bit of leg, and I'm just going to ask her to step out of that circle a little bit. There we go. And that's it. That's all it is. Keep in mind when you're using your leg, the moment you feel the horse step off, you got to take it off. So if you want to side pass them a lot further, it's on, off, on, off, on, off not leave it on. As soon as you leave it on and the horse takes multiple steps with your leg on, they're gonna to learn to lean on that pressure and they'll get heavier and heavier instead of lighter and lighter. Okay, so now let's say you've got that side pass working for you out of the circle. Um, one other little troubleshooting tip here is a lot of horses, instead of side passing out of the circle, they will just ride out of the circle. They'll just steer out of that circle with their shoulders instead of yielding their hind quarters and fore quarters off your leg. So you can see there, she's kind of moving her whole body. Very good. So for me, that's the easiest place to introduce it to your horse. Then from there, you want to start to go, can you go up to a wall and ask your horse to side pass on the wall? This just takes it to the next level where they can really start to respond off of your leg and the wall keeps them from walking forward, which is the easiest mistake for them to make while side passing. So you just walk along, you tip the horse's nose into the wall, put your leg on, get him to take a step or two and release. Okay, once you can side pass pretty easily along the wall, then you're ready to go to the third stage, which is side passing off the wall. And this is where a lot of folks run into trouble. And uh, the little tip I wanna add to this is I wanna give her a destination. So I'm gonna side pass up to that barrel. So I'm gonna turn her so that my stirrup could land on that barrel. And then step one is I'm gonna see how little could it take. So I'm gonna give her a loose rein. I'm gonna tip my weight just slightly to the left, apply my leg. I'm using what I call leg position two, which is just right there. So I have leg position one, two, and three. I'm just gonna be using leg position two for this. And she starts to go. Now let's say she started going like that. I would let her fully commit to that mistake. And then I would pick her up redirect her and release her, okay? So what I'm getting at is a lot of people are micromanaging their horses through this. And if you do that, you're never giving them responsibility to not go forward, okay? So I'm gonna ride off again. Now I might side pass up to this mounting block. Stop her here, whatever you think is a reasonable distance. Focus on that mounting block, put your leg on. See if your horse can take you to it. Very good. So she backed up a little bit. I would rather the horse make the mistake of backing up versus um, stepping forward while they're side passing. So long story short, try to do less first, put your reins down, give the horse a chance to respond. Like there she walked off. Now I'm gonna pick her up, back her up, reset. So what I see a lot of people do is that right away they're using their reins and their legs and they're micromanaging. Put your hand down, give the horse a chance to be right before you start correcting things. And that's what'll start to lead to a really nice side pass. See here, she's starting to think over there, so I'm gonna let her commit to that. Now I'll pick her up, fix it, and then release her. Now we'll start again. Very good. So that's a good setup. Now that I got that working at a standstill and at a walk, I can start building that into my trot and canter and get ready for those lead changes. So go out and give that a try. Start off simple, see where your horse is at, progress from there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.